Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Washington Nationals taking on the Seattle Mariners. <laughs> First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go now. Getting the nod in this one, Luis Castillo. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical. Tempo is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged, to make those plays and help you get through the innings. Ready to go? Here's Lane Thomas. Lane Thomas. The pitch. That one's in there. And this one is off and running. The old one. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't Gotta feel any that. vibration in your hands the whatsoever. Two, Such a good feeling. Man. Smash that one through the yeah, infield yeah. for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now it's Dominic Smith. And that's through there for a strike. Luis Castillo, a guy who debuted in 2017 with the Reds at 24 years old, multiple All-Star appearances, traded to the Mariners at the deadline in 2022. You think about that triple-digit fastball, but the changeup is the thing that stands out. Yeah, and you could argue that he's got the best changeup in baseball. From the right side, it's like a Bugs Bunny pitch and works so well off of his fastball. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. The one, two, and downstairs. Throws him with the changeup right there, and I think he was so geared up for fastball. Once he recognized that it was off speed, he just wasn't able to make an adjustment. So a really good strikeout, and pitcher just won the battle. Grounder might be two. Over to Wong. And that's two. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. No score after a half inning. T-Mobile Park showing the slab in today's game. Patrick Corbin, what do we have on him? Well, because he doesn't have plus stuff, it's going to be critical that his skipper keeps a close eye on him. Second time, third time through the order, we see the OPS jump dramatically. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now, here is Julio Rodriguez. Next offering is down low. Ball one. Corbin, multi-time all-star. He features a sinker a slider, a four-seamer, a change-up, and he occasionally uses a curve. Two balls, no strikes to count. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. And a 2-1 on the way. Check swing, no appeal. On the ground to the left. Whips it across, one up, one down. 
And now we check out the Mariners lineup. They're dealing with a sinker specialist on the mound, which can be a big time challenge when he's right and working mostly from the knees down. Well, I think the approach you take is really try to lay off of those pitches down in the zone until he gets some called strikes and then forces you to go after that pitch. Until then, make him elevated because guys that throw those sinkers, those two seamers, really hard for them to be effective up in the zone. Those are pitches you can hammer. And when you get a cookie, you don't want to miss it. And that one fouled off. Stays alive. Got him swinging. Batting third. Two outs, bases empty. Stepping in the long ball threat, Ty France. On the ground right side. He handles it himself, and that is that. Mariners go down quietly there. We played an inning, no score. Back here at the ballpark, there's Dickerson now. The left fielder, number 23, Corey Dickerson. Castillo, back to work. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Now batting Jamer Candelario. He swings and fouls one off. Castillo, an all-star a season ago, he features a four-seam fastball, a sinker, a changeup, and he works in a slider. And it's fouled away. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Here's the 0 2. Hit on the ground to the right side. And that's just foul. The next offering misses. Now, what a two. Nobody out. Runner at first. Up the middle. Nice stop. The throw. Crawford. Toss the second. And two. What a play. Well, off the bat, we thought that was going to be a single, not a double play. Just a great job. Dives, knocks it down, feeds it to the second baseman. And a nice turn around the bag. Really great job by those two. And now it's Luis Garcia. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And here it comes. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Suarez right there to make the grab. And that ends the inning. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. We go to the bottom of inning number two. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Back in Seattle, and now the right fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. The right fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Here comes a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. And he can't come up with it. But the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first down. 
That is good. The third base Eugenio. Hey, Eugenio oh, Suarez up to hit down. Ripped, but it curls foul. One down, base is empty. Yeah, the pitch is in for a strike, and it's 0-2. Rusty Valentine calling balls and strikes. Book, something I hear from hitters about Valentine is they know they don't have to protect off the plate too much in two strike counts, and that can be a big deal in terms of your confidence in seeing some pitches in that at bat. He goes down looking. Well, I'm not really sure why he let that one go by. I mean, out of the hand, it had a lot of the strike zone. Sure, it had some good arm side run at the end to move to the outside part of the plate, but with two strikes, you got to be ready to swing it there, and you can't leave it in the umpire's hands. You tell me And here's the catcher, Cal Raleigh. Up the middle, dives, but it kicks off his glove. He decides to eat it, and he reaches safely. A.J. Pollock at the dish. Hit on the ground to Candelario. They get the force, and that'll do it. One left for Seattle. We'll move to the third with no score. Welcome back. Here's the catcher, Hebert Ruiz. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. There's the strike. Really good athlete, and many times we talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. Kicks and fires. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. That's back. Go! Oh! He leaves the yard to right. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spent on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. one down bounding ball here rolls foul chop to the left side tosses to first and one away in the top of the third batting on the center field number 16 Victor. And now it's Victor Robles up to hit. Robles measures six feet even, 25 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. 
And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Vladi, Big Poppy, Pedro, the list goes on and on. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Dominating strikeout there on just three pitches, and that's what a good power pitcher can do to you. He's hitting his spots, filling up the strike zone. Sometimes he bats over before it really begins. Thomas in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. In for a strike. That's strike one. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. Thomas tries to hold up, appeal to first, and no swing, says Jerry Hillsdale. And a pitch. Started after it. Appeal to first. No swing. And there's ball four. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base the is going to have a very aggressive one, secondary two. lead. So a ball down, down the line or an into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Smith in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. Smith, in his fifth season, batting second in today's lineup, he joined the team as a free agent. Two outs. And ball one. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit so now one and two Thomas off of first with two away He's trying to protect, keep the at-bat alive. Castillo will look to first. Oh, and he's Good. back in on a dive. The one-two. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. Well done behind the dish. Throw to first. Thomas back in standing. Another throw over. And he's back in that time as well. Next pitch has popped up. Puts the squeeze on it, and that is that. Nats on the board first, courtesy of this solo homer. It's now 1-0. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Bottom of the inning, and stepping in for the Mariners, Sam Haggerty. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. That pitch in for a strike, strike one. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. Oh, this one high and deep, way back there. That one is gone. He'll touch them all, and we are starting over. It's 1-1. Well, he put a really nice 
swing on that one. And everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Next to hit, J.P. Crawford. That one's in there, 0-1. One. one strike. Next pitch misses inside. One ball, one strike. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Tied up here in the early going. Fights that one away, still one and two. And a pitch. Sets him down looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. And now here is Julio Rodriguez. That one finds the corner, and that is strike one. The wide to kick the pitch. Edge of the zone, call the strike. That is strike two. Gets a piece and stays alive. The 0 2. Bounce to third. Dives and he can't hang on. He doesn't have a play and the defense comes away with nothing. Runner on at first with one gone. Colton Wong up to him. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. One ball. No strike. Corbin over to first. And he's back in easily. The 1 0. That one fouled off. Started after it. Appeal to third. Nope, he held back. Come on. Face it now. Two one now. Now a screamer into the outfield. And it goes just foul. Swing and a bouncer. The throw to second. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. All even now at 1-1. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back at T-Mobile Park. Now it's the DH, Joey Meneses. Joey Meneses. And a pitch. Good eye right there. That's out to center field. Rodriguez racing over to make the catch. Here's Corey Dickerson. Gotta be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. 
just oh. off the Out outside the edge. And the right-hander deals. Fought off foul. Righty to the plate. Two balls, one strike. And fouled off. Left hand batter waits. Fights it off. He'll see another. Swings and misses. Struck him out. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Jamer Candelario. He's 0 for 1. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. First offering misses the mark. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play, can throw from so many different angles, and makes really tough plays look very easy. And that one hit to first. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And that is that. Nothing doing for the offense that time. We're midway in the fourth. All tied 1-1. And welcome back. Bottom of the fourth. And here's the first baseman, Ty France. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Corbin back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Out to short. On to first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Now back, right fielder. Day off, Hernandez. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Grounded out his first time. That one misses, and that's ball one. That to right. Hauls it in, and there's two away. Now back, the third baseman, Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. He was a strikeout victim his first time. There's a strike at the knees, and it's 0-1. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit, and not an easy one to throw either. That one to first. Yeah. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. The Mariners are down in order. Score remains tied 1-1. Back here at the ballpark, ready now for the fifth inning. Up now for Washington, Luis Garcia. Garcia. The wind of the pitch. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Well, that definitely didn't come out of his hand the way that he was intending it to. And the release point was a little bit off as well. Ruiz takes low, second trip to the plate in this one. And the 1-0. 
goodness. I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Kicks and deals. Swing and a pop up. Crawford pulls it down and he makes the catch. Then there's one down. At the play, C.J. Abrams grounded out his first time. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. First pitch, and he just misses. The 1-0. Called strike right there. This game has been so tight. Feels like the next team to score will win it. Here's a 1-1. That one missing inside. And now it's even up. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Garcia leads off first with one away. And look out. That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Well, he's just glad that he got hit with an off-speed pitch there instead of a fastball. Man, that would have hurt a lot more if it had velocity. Robles in the box now. Take strike one. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the count so that you can dictate the rest of the at-bat. Nice job right there. And he deals. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. One out. Runners at first and second. Pitch misses there, and it's one and two. In the dirt, but no advance from the runners. Got him swinging for the K. Gassed it right by him. So the lineup flips over. Next to him for the Nats, Lane Thomas. This guy with light tower power. In there, and it's 0-1. That was just paint on the first pitch fastball. Here's your one. Ball one there. One ball, one strike. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. To third. And that one handled. They take the force out. That's the third out. So the Nats leave a pair. Score remains deadlocked at one. Back in Seattle, and now the switch hitting catcher, Cal Raleigh. The catcher, Cal Raleigh. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point.
Fires across the diamond. And a quick out number one. Good sinker low Come in the up, zone right there up, and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice Whoa. ground out. Here's the left fielder, A.J. Pollock. And first offering is fouled off. Slapped foul. Next offering misses. It's a ball and two strikes. On the ground. And foul ball. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Really nice job staying up in the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. One down. Here's a speed threat. Sam Haggerty, the solo homer, his first time. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Over at first with one away. And that one sliced foul. That's through there for a strike. And now the lefty knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And the pitch. And now two and two. Hard ground ball for a base knock. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. Went down on strikes his first time through. In there for strike one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Runners at first and second with one gone. That's in there. Oh, a two down. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. 
And that's outside. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. And it's even up. Way to lay off that pitch down. And a base hit on the line. Here comes the runner. Thomas fires it to the plate. Not in time. He's safe at the plate. It's 2-1. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Nice line drive to pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder Julio Rodriguez. One lace to center and a base hit. Runner from third comes across, and they take a two-run lead. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. First and second, one out. And now for Seattle, Colton Wong. First pitch, just misses. Two on, one out. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's gonna bring in some runs. Get Good hitters count the 2-0. This one popped up. And that one gets down, fair ball. The throw in, in there, he scores. It's 4-1. Comes through with the RBI. Just a blue pit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Patrick Corbin is done, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. Mason Thompson taking over on the mound. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Mason Thompson. One away, runners at first and third. Ty France now at the plate. And that's in there for strike one. Ty France, a pretty cool story. A 34th round pick in 2015 out of San Diego State. And in 2022, he was an all-star. Runners are at the corners, one away. And that's in for a strike. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. The tag, and he's out at second. The pitch. And a ball evens the count. On the ground to third. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. Well, you're already down in the game, and not just by a couple. And then that error allows a run to score, and this is where things can really start to fall apart. As a team, they need to pick themselves up, find a way to play better baseball the rest of the way. And now Teoscar Hernandez.
That's in there. France off of first with Jewel A. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. The 0 2. And there's a the ball. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. So they move out in front after a four-run outburst. We're through five. It's the M's five and the Nats one. Welcome back. Now the number two hitter, Dominic Smith. Number 22, Dominic Smith. The pitch. And misses inside. Well, these Nats just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. Just one extra base hit for them. So they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. Right hander kicks deals. Set down on strikes. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Joey Manessis digging in for the Nationals. First offering, and it just misses. Manessis goes six feet, three inches, 30 years old now. He's usually in right field, but today he's getting the DH treatment. Liner, and that should be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. Around first, heading for two. And that's a double. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Corey Dickerson digging in for the Nationals. One for two. Pitch misses, and it's 1-0. Oh. The 1-0. Oh. Yeah. And he takes a strike. There's a swing and a miss. One ball, two straight. And a one, two. Oh. Two and two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. And a pop up right side, foul territory. And that will drop foul. Next pitch misses, and the count's full. Really good take, especially with two strikes. In the air, fairly deep to right field. He's there, he's got it, and there's two down. Up next to the Nationals, the third baseman, 
Jamer. down to third baseman Candelario. Jamer Candelario. Bounce to the right side. That's a hit. Manessis around third. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Two outs, runner at first. Luis Garcia digging in for the Nationals. And there's the strike. They say you win. The O2. Run. Struck him out looking. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 5 2. You're dialed into the show. Back at T-Mobile Park, and now Eugenio Suarez. Thompson, in his second season, 25 years old, and he was a third-round pick back in 2016. Thompson, back to work. There's a strike. Well, these Mariners, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats in this one, haven't we? I mean, they've logged six hits at 90-plus exit velocity, and that doesn't happen by accident. The 0-1. Late that time, and it's strike two. And the 2 And that skips in the dirt. Good eye right there. Swing and a miss struck him out. Now Cal Raleigh, Raleigh up next for the Mariners. Raleigh. Yeah, the first Run offering ball. is okay. not close. And the righty deals. That's a little bit low. Got to be real careful here. 2-0. He's hunting for his pitch. Kicks and fires. That's in there, and it's two and one. Now, just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. And now it's filled up. And here it comes. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. 
back-to-back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Pollock stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Next pitch is outside. Righty delivers. That one's spoiled, and the count now two to one. The pitch. This to third. Candelario on the first. And they take care of Pollock for the out. And that is the inning. Nothing across here this half. Seventh inning coming up. It's the M's five and the Nationals two. And now it's Kiebert Ruiz. He blasted one out earlier in the third. Just a solo home run, but an important swing of the bat in this game. We've already seen him do it once. Can he do it again? The pitch. That one the other way. Makes the catch one down. The bat at the bottom. CJ. C.J. Abrams digging in for the Nationals. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Action in the bullpen for Seattle. Andres Munoz appears to be getting loose. Castillo getting loose as well. The wind of the pitch. In the air to left center. That one gets down for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. The center field, number 16. That ball right there landed in what they call the no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. they got to go a long way as well. Here's Victor Robles in the air right side. Hernandez squeezes it, and there's two away. Now back at the right field, Lane Thomas. Back to the top of the lineup, and now here's the Nationals leadoff man, Lane Thomas. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. And another ball. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. The 2-0 is in for a strike. And a swing and a miss there. That one not close. Full count three and two. Dominic Smith hoping for a chance. He would represent the tying run. Yeah, Boo, plenty of power in that bat, and they'd love to give him a shot here. Three balls, two strikes to count. Ripped on a line, and it drops foul into the corner. Abrams leads off first with two down to the inning.
Swing and a ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Now back on. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. Dom Smith stands in. And first offering is fouled off. That one missed. One ball, one strike. The one one. Good eye in that spot. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. The tying run at the plate. To the right side, Wong. That ends the frame. So the Nats leave a pair. They trail at 5-2. Bottom of the seventh. In now is the Mariners' DH, Sam Haggerty. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. And a pitch. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. And the right-hander deals. And a strike in there. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit-by-pitch to lead off the inning. Oh, Boog, I know how much you love free stuff, and this offense has to love a free base runner to start this inning, even if it hurts a little bit. We'll see if they can do anything with it. He's going, Here's the going, pitch. Run around the goal. Bounce to the left side. Sneaks through. Base hit. Haggerty coming home. Throw cut off, now to the plate. Slides his hand in there, save! It's 6-2. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. So the batting order turns over. Here's the center fielder, Julio Rodriguez. Maybe expecting a bunt here. Third baseman playing in on the edge of the grass. That one's in there, 0-1. Runner at first with no outs here. That's to third. Quickly to second for one. And it's a double play. Now second base. Two outs, base is empty. Colton Wong getting ready to hit. One for three. He provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. Going one. And what does that do for a team when you get power from unexpected spots like that? When you're in the dugout and you see a guy come up big like that that you don't necessarily expect it, it just energizes that entire team. No. That's off the mark. One and one. One and one.
Here's a one two. Fouls that off to the left and we'll do it again. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Right there, does a great no, job of staying great. in the big no, part no, of the no, field. No, Man, there are a lot of no. hits there. And now the first baseman, Ty France. Hit hard on the ground is short. They get the force. That's out number three. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Mariners six and the Nationals two. Penn Murphy into the game. And he's got a nice lead to work with. So he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Now, number 56. Joey Manessis digging in for the Nationals. And he deals. And pitch in for a strike. 0 1. Calling it bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. And the 0 1. That one hit to right. And there's one down. The left hander, number 23. Corey Dickerson digging in for the Nationals. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. Activity in the bullpen. Trevor Gott appears to be getting ready for manager Scott Service. Spire, a left-hander, also throwing. And a pitch. Just missed. At the belt and fires. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. And that lands in no man's land. A foul ball. Well, he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly with the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does. And you're tied up. Righty to the plate. Tried to check his swing there, appealed a third. Yes, he did. That's a swing. Two outs, base is empty. And now up for Washington, Jamer Candelario. And that one wrapped foul. Two outs. Now one and one. Ball to strike. The pitch. That one pushed to the left and foul. And a ball in two strikes. Got it looking. That's a strikeout. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Mariners six and the Nationals two.
And welcome back. Bottom of the eighth. So now it's the Mariner cleanup hitter, Teoscar Hernandez. The right-hander back to work. That one pushed foul. The 0 one. And that one missing low. One ball, one strike. Next pitch inside, and that's ball two. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Pulls it in, and there's one away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front now, shoulder now. coming no, open no, instead of staying closed. Hey, 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 if he does that, he's going to be able to go oh, up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Suarez in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Chopped out in front of the plate. Over to Smith. And a couple of quick outs. Now bad. The catcher. Cal. And now Cal Raleigh. Just missed. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire didn't give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. That's inside. And a pitch. And there's a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. And a foul ball. And the pitch. That Great one ran ball. inside, Great. almost got him. The 3 2 oh, is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. His ability to draw walks has been no, something no, 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 that's been part of his career no, since day one. Now the left fielder, A.J. Pollock. In there in its own one. Raleigh, the runner at first with two gone. Slow roller to third, and that's just foul. Oh, and two now. Ground ball to the right side, and it finds its way through for a hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two now away. The designated hitter. Just a cookie Fair. down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. 
Now here is Sam Haggerty. And that's in there for strike one. The pitch. Check swing. Went around. And the count is 0-2. Now a blooper back behind Shore. Oh, he gloves it. That one was ticketed for the gap, but couldn't get through security. Great job there of leaping, making the catch, and ending the inning. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Gabe Spire. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Luis Garcia digging in for the Nationals. Spire in his second season, 27 years old, and he found his way onto the team after being claimed off waivers. The pitch. That takes low for ball one. Yeah, there's a ball. Next pitch is inside, and now 3-0. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at-bat turns out. Line drive, base hit. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Man at first, Hebert Ruiz digging in for the Nationals. That's inside, ball one. The lefty to 1 0. Now wanted a 1. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Towards first. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. A potential double play ball hit to first is probably the toughest one to execute cleanly. That first baseman has got a very tough throwing lane to deal with because of the runner headed to second base. And a lot of times guys try to throw over or around the runner, which can really mess up a throw like that. Still definitely an error, though. Next to hit, C.J. Abrams. That hits the dirt, and that's ball one. Left-hand hitter waits. On the ground to third. Over to Wong. Over to first, safe. New pitcher for the Mariners, Paul Seawall. 
And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Up now for Washington, Victor Robles. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Garcia, the runner at third. Abrams over at first with one away. There's the strike. To short, could be two. Crawford over to second, and it's a double play to end the ball game. And your final, six to two. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. First was the victorious Seattle Mariners, six runs, 11 hits, one error, they left six men on base. For the Mariners, two runs on eight hits, one error, they left nine men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 58 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon, and we remind you to please drive home safely.